Good morning, my little nerds. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a board-certified dermatologist based in New York City, and welcome to our YouTube channel where we do a Pillow Talk Derm every Saturday morning. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so now. I don't know what you're waiting for. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, even though you haven't watched it already, and comment below. So I haven't done a best moisturizer roundup in almost two years. So I can't believe it's been two years this December that marks my official start into the world of YouTube. So first of all, thank you for sticking along the journey. Um, but I thought it was about time that I came back and revisited basic moisturizers, especially as we're transitioning from summer into fall and the air is getting drier and the heaters are going on. I don't know about you guys, but my lips were completely cracked last week because I was in Denver and the air was so dry. Time to do a new moisturizer roundup. Starting with a tried and true, because we have to go with the tried and trues, I absolutely love the Cicaplast, the Bohm B5. This one is by La Roche-Posay. It retails for approximately $16. And the reason I love this particular product, other than the fact that it is extremely thick and rich as a moisturizer, is that it contains zinc. Now, zinc is also known to be a very good anti-inflammatory. Think about it, you put zinc on your baby's butts. I mean, if you don't have a baby, you probably don't know that. But whenever there's a diaper rash, you usually put a thick layer of zinc in order to help minimize irritation and inflammation. So if your skin is dry, cracked, your barrier is broken, you want to look for a moisturizer with zinc. And this is one that I love to baste my face in. Like a turkey on Thanksgiving morning, I usually put a thick coating all over my face in the dead of winter. Uh, and I wake up to much smoother, hydrated, dewier skin. Probably not you're going to want to use during the day because it can leave a white cast. That is product number one. Number two, I recently discovered last year through a friend of mine, I think it was Katie Jane Hughes, who told me about Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is their classic tried and true moisturizer. It is one that supposedly has a massively large cult of following, and I just recently got into it last year. The reason I like this one, I do not like the jar, I will not lie, but I do like the cream itself, is that it's very, very silky smooth and it doesn't have that silicone slip to it that a lot of products with silicones can sometimes feel like it's sitting on top of your face. It's a glycerin-based hydrating moisturizer that also has squalane. Squalane is a very lightweight oil that helps to prevent water loss. In addition, and I used to think this was a marketing gimmick until I learned otherwise, it has what is known as glacial glycoprotein. So they actually go down to Antarctica and get extracts from the marine life within the waters. And it's known as pseudo alteromonas ferment extract. It is a fermentation of a marine bacteria that helps to protect the skin from extreme cold, which makes sense because it's living in Antarctica. So they get that extract and marry it to a glycoprotein, which naturally is on the skin surface to reinforce your skin barrier, but to also help protect it from extreme weather. And this is why this particular product is a staple of mine now during the winter months when the weather dips and it's freezing out and I am prone to wind burns and lip burns because I lick my lips. I actually sometimes use it on top of my lip if my lip is really, really red or irritated. Number three, Perito is a brand that has been in and out of my life for the past few years, um, but they came back in with their Dermide Relief Barrier Moisturizer. I really love, number one, the componentry in this. I love that it's a chunky pump, especially because it's a basic moisturizer. So you're not expecting that many actives that can be very expensive, and therefore you can actually get a lot more bang for your buck in this pump. It's at 3.38 ounces, so safe for traveling with the TSA. Um, Travel Security Agency, I think that's what it stands for in the US, but basically all those people at the airport who steal your products claiming that they're stealing it because it's too big, but they're really stealing it because they want to end up using it. FYI, I have stories. Um, I like it because you can go through security. It's very rich, also glycerin based, but it has five types of ceramides in here. And what are ceramides? Ceramides make up 50% of the fatty lipid layer of your skin that's going to hold on to moisture in your skin. Usually ceramides are also combined with cholesterol and free fatty acids. There has to be a very golden ratio of the three to really get the best effects. Quite frankly, I don't know if they marry them to all of the cholesterol and the fatty acids that should be married to, but as a moisturizer, it does feel very nice. It gets absorbed. It really just sinks in. I'll also say I like it on my feet. 
I don't know if that was their intent, but I like it on my feet and that is no shade at the brand whatsoever. I think it has helped my feet a lot throughout the winter months. Um, and it's a beautiful, really rich moisturizer that helps to relieve your broken skin barrier. Um, because when your skin barrier is broken, you do want to have that fatty layer back there, almost like the cheese holding your skin cells together to really make sure that it stays nice and healthy and intact. Number one, two, three, four. This is a personal friend of mine. I have no conflict of interest here, although I do know him and I like him. So if I like him as a conflict of interest, shoot me. I, I, I choose to be wrong if being wrong is right. Um, Jordan Samuel is a lovely human being. He came up with his moisture recovery cream. And I remember when he was in formulation working on this product, he was so excited to tell me about it because it has no HA. And I absolutely love him for that. This is a glycerin based moisturizer. And what I like about this is that it has shea butter. And I always butcher how you say it. And I am a educated board certified dermatologist. I used to call it shea butter. Then I found that it's shea butter. Um, so however you want to say it, as long as you know what I'm talking about, it's a naturally occurring butter in skincare that is derived from the African shea, shea tree or the karite tree. Um, but the reason I like shea butter is because not only does it help to soothe your skin and to hold on to moisture, it's also rich in antioxidants. So it has vitamin A, vitamin E and vitamin F. And this is one that I think, um, is a really nice, and I want to show you guys actually the consistency. I squeezed it, but I'll show you guys again. It's a really nice one at night. It's very, very, very rich, almost like a magnolia cupcake icing. Um, so just make sure that if you use this, it's probably one that I would pick for the nighttime and not necessarily one that I would use underneath my makeup. The other thing I love this cream for is around my cuticles and my nails, especially in winter, as I start to like pick, my skin gets drier and things get a little bit eroded around the hands. But it's a really nice, actually, I'm not gonna use the cream, the, the Kleenex to wash it off. I'm gonna put it down my neck and all over my hands, but my hands are very sticky. I don't think I'll be able to open the next product. So that is Jordan Samuel. His retails for $34. The Perito, by the way, retails for $20 and the Kiehl's at $34. Next up in our lineup at product number five is Dieu. I know they call it Dewey with the American accent, but if you pronounce it correctly, it's really Dieu. It means God in French because it is heavenly. It's their instant angel lipid rich moisturizer. It comes in a tube, which I also, I told you guys I wouldn't be able to open. My hands are too slippery. Uh, it comes in a tube that you guys can squeeze out. Um, this is a very nice, very elegant cream that just slips on beautifully. It is very lightweight, but it really holds on to the moisture. Now, all of these moisturizers that I'm talking about are basic moisturizers. They're not problem solving for a specific problem like pigmentation or trying to solve for acne and moisturizing if you have acne. They're just really good moisturizers that I love for the winter time and the fall time when the air gets really, really cold and really, really dry. The thing I like about Dieu is that it contains also urea. And urea is one of those ingredients that's oftentimes not so spoken about and people confuse them as your pee, the ingredient found in your pee, but it's really important to have in your skincare. It's a very mild keratolytic, so it's gonna help get rid of all of the dead skin cells that are built up on the top of your skin while being deeply nourishing and hydrating. So so it's going to buff and restore moisture. So I love that because who does not love a two for one? My Kleenex is everywhere. Oh my God. Did you guys see that Kim Kardashian video when she's showing how to put Kleenex in the box and she goes, I'm not going to waste this tissue. And we're like, yeah, right. Don't. Anyway, it's okay. We're no hate here. Okay. So then blah, 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 blah. we're moving on to one of my all time favorites. I'm so excited for this one because as you guys know, I've never been sponsored by any of these brands, FYI. They're Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. I hate the jar, never lied. I've gone through like at least a dozen of these products because they're so easy to go through. It's so lightweight, but then it really holds on to the moisture in your skin. But this year they came up with their Calm and Restore, <laughs> Calm and Restore Skin Therapy Balm. This is different than their gel moisturizer. It is much richer. It contains petrolatum, which you should not be afraid about. This is a real occlusive balm compared to the moisturizer. As you guys can see, it is much thicker. It does contain the colloidal oatmeal that I love so much in their gel moisturizer that helps with redness or people who are eczema prone, but it's richer and it's thicker and you can really feel it. 
I almost want to see this winter, if I'm going to substitute it for the Weleda, which I've always used, that I absolutely adore. The thing I hate about Weleda, though, is that it has the essential oil. So people who have rosacea or have inflamed skin barriers or have sensitive skin can't seem to tolerate this one that much. So I think this guy is going to be one of my newer replacements this winter when I want to see how it compares to the Weleda. Very excited about this particular product, and I think you guys should too, because Vaseline alone can sometimes just be too thick way too occlusive and you do want to have some restorative properties as well some redness relief as well and some just nourishing ingredients like the colloidal ointment especially if you have an inflamed skin barrier fyi side note that i completely forgot i used to talk about years ago and if you followed me for a while or found me on the allure video a couple of years ago i would talk about how i would take my beauty blender and wet it and i would use the waleda which was very thick and it is very thick actually on my face but in order to highlight the high points of my face so i wanted to kind of Go back and revisit that for all of you guys today. I have a clean water bottle over here. I'm just gonna soak a little bit this beauty blender just so it kind of gets nice and soft. And I wanna try it for the first time with all of you utilizing this guy on my face. The reason I don't just do it straight up is because it is very thick and I do not wanna get greasy. But this is, I shouldn't have put it on the other side. Let me do this. Take this Kleenex that I used, dry it off. And I want to go back and put the Waleda over here and just kind of see. I used the Beauty Blender because I felt like, yeah, you know, the Waleda is still better. The Waleda is still better. It gives you a better glow and a nice highlight to the cheek high points of your face. Um, it's a trick that I've always been doing because I don't necessarily like to wear a lot of makeup or highlighters. And it just goes, yeah. The Willita is better for this. For a cosmetic effect, the Willita is better, but we're gonna see for a skin effect if the Avino is better this winter, and I will report back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this roundup of my favorite moisturizers. These are all basic moisturizers that are not particularly serving a purpose to treat a problem. So if you have hyperpigmentation, none of these are actually gonna tackle that. And this is not to plug Pillow Talk Derm. When I was creating my line, I wanted to make a gel moisturizer that can work and really hydrate at the same time as targeting a problem. But if for example, really hyperpigmentation is not your issue, you probably won't want to use my moisturizer. But if hyperpigmentation is, or you're trying to marry a vitamin C into a moisturizer, this particular product, and again, it is my product, this is a full conflict of interest, um, but I absolutely love it because I know what I create, is so lightweight but hydrating. I have found, and I, I tend to be on the drier part of the spectrum, that it just gets absorbed beautifully underneath your makeup without leaving any swishy residue on top of your skin. And you really don't feel like it's sitting on top of your skin overnight, um, during the day rather. So overnight, I might be supplementing a thicker, richer moisturizer on top of this if the air gets very, very dry to really get that intense hydration that we all so lovingly crave in the winter. I am Dr. Shereen Idris. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to make them slightly briefer and more to the point, but if you guys like the longer format, let me know below. And if you want to learn anything specific about any one of these products, or you want me to do a deep dive review on any one of these products, let me know and we will do it. I will see you guys next weekend. Have a great Saturday.